Hey, how's everything going up there, Neil Armstrong today? This is Houston reporting in. Well, Houston, I think we have a cold 1202. So Houston, we have a problem. Houston, we have a problem. Welcome to the Kaiba Show. <laughs> Alright, so first man is starring Ryan Gosling, Claire Foy, Jason Clark, and Kyle Chandler, and is directed by Damien Chazelle. And basically the premise of this movie is a biopic on Neil Armstrong and is basically showing us all the missions that led up to him finally getting to the main mission of them landing on the moon and being the first ones to do it for the United States of America. All right, folks, let me start off by saying this. I must say, this this was a this was a good movie. I like how we got to see the other aspect, you know, the other side to Neil Armstrong. This, this was an intense movie where they showed us how all the, the, the failed attempts and even some of the attempts that, that were good, just the struggle, the, the, the pressure that Neil Armstrong and Buzz and all the other NASA workers and all the astronauts, everybody. It took a, a whole collective group of people to make this mission possible. And it was just very interesting to see the other side, to see the other story of how they got to that point where they finally they finally figured everything out to land this this spacecraft on the moon and to be the first ones to do it because you see the intense battle between how U.S. wanted to be the first ones and you know Russia was right right there too they was about to be the first ones to do it so I like to see how they finally showed how the two countries was going back and forth and. Ryan Gosling and the whole cast, they did an amazing job. Um, the storyline was pretty good. Yes, the movie dragged a little bit. There are some, 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 some parts that were a little slow. But other than that, I found the movie very interesting. And just to see that, that whole dynamic. Of, there, there, was a, there was a lot of failed attempts in this movie. And just to see how the emotional roller coaster of how everybody had to go through this. And just the emotional toll it took on all the families. I mean... We had astronauts that had wives and kids and, you know, just to see the turmoils that these families had to go through. You know, there's some emotional scenes in the movie and I just like how they showed all that. And, and it was an intense, it was an intense um, a movie. It was an emotional roller coaster movie. There's a lot of scenes where I felt certain aspects of what was going on. And that's what I like to see in a movie. When I invest in the characters and you make me get emotionally invested in the characters, those are the type of movies that I like to watch. And I wouldn't be surprised if this movie gets some type of uh, Oscar nods, you know, a little bit further down in the road. But other than that, this movie was very entertaining and I liked it. Yes, there was some dry parts, some boring parts. But other than that, it was a very entertaining movie and I really liked it. All right, so overall, people, if you're into the whole space exploration type movies, and this is a biopic on Neil Armstrong that we never really got to see or hear about before, you know, on the Kaiba scale, 1 to 10, I think I'm going to give this movie a um, solid 8. That's what I'm going to go for. I'm going to give this movie an 8. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Is it the best biopic movie I ever saw in my life? No, but at the end of the day, it was a very entertaining one. And like I said, if you were into space exploration type movies, I think you'll dig this because we finally get to see the struggle that Neil Armstrong went through to make this mission happen. And I like how they depict that to us. So, yeah, I definitely think it's probably worth seeing at IMAX to get the full, like, the intensity of the scenes like there were some cool aerial shots even though sometimes they were a little choppy there were some cool aerial shots especially outside in space so yeah it's definitely worth probably seeing that IMAX and yeah I think you should buy it on Blu-ray when it comes out so if you like what you see and you want to see more please hit the subscribe button after hitting the subscribe button hit the bell button so you get notified every time I upload a video and please hit the like button and leave a comment at the bottom